Hello everyone, this is Kristen DeFrancisco coming to you remotely to give you a little bit of information about growth mindset. I'm excited about this vlog because I think in light of the governor's announcement today, growth mindset is something that your sixth graders are going to need to use as a tool to get through the next several weeks of school remotely. Growth mindset is not a foreign term for your sixth graders. Uh, they know the difference between a fixed versus a growth mindset. And hopefully I will be able to give you a little bit of an idea of what that looks, feels, and sounds like so that you can apply it at home as you're working with your student. Growth mindset's a very important part of our work as teachers and parents in all stages of growth and development, not just in sixth grade, though I will say that sixth grade is certainly a window for growth mindset where we have an opportunity to really help train students' brains to think this way. So the difference between a fixed and a growth mindset is that a fixed mindset will have a fixed mindset believe that their intelligence, their character, their creativity, their fixed traits, they can't be changed. You have what you have, you uh, were given what you were given, and you can only succeed based on that. A growth mindset, however, is that intelligence is just the beginning, that failure is not evidence of unintelligence. And as a matter of fact, failure is an opportunity to learn from mistakes and to grow your brain with new skills. A growth mindset fosters a love of learning and of resilience, whereas a fixed mindset um, talent alone creates success and effort plays little, if any, role in success. So inherently, you can probably see why a growth mindset really works much better for our students when they are learning new information and they're moving from grade to grade and they're trying to grow their brains. At school, we're always concentrating on the following things. Teach children to remember what they know and what they do well that will lead to the skills to learn other things. They're transferable skills. So something you're really good at, you need a certain skill to be really good at things, you can transfer that skill to the learning of other skills. All people are learners. We're not necessarily experts or even proficient in something when we start out at it. And if we gave up after that first try, we certainly wouldn't be successful with whatever it was we were trying to learn. And at school, we talk about how changing your language can change your mindset. What you see here is a picture of a bulletin board that is in every single Gibbs classroom. And you may have seen them earlier in the year during conference time or when you came at the very beginning of the year for our curriculum evening. So all students are familiar with what this looks like. Your sixth grader knows the language. They know how to apply it in each subject area, and they know how to change their words so that they can grow their mindset. In addition to that, they also know about the power of yet. The most important thing we can give our young children is the hope for growth. So by using yet, we can say things like, I can't do this yet, or I'm not good at this yet. This doesn't make sense to me yet. We spend lots of time on the power of our words as teachers and not only what we say to our students, but what we say about ourselves. So when we're talking about ourselves, we also use yet if we're talking about a skill that we've yet to learn. You can do that very easily at home as well. So if sixth graders know how to grow their mindset, they may need a few reminders from you, but they really do know this language. Um, they know that when they're presented with a new challenge, that they can meet that challenge if they remember what they know, approach the task with persistence, and work their way through challenges with grit. Lean in. We talk about leaning into a challenge, not backing away from a challenge. Here are five ways that you at home can encourage and model growth mindset. Pay attention and really verbally praise your children throughout their journey along the way, the hard work you see them putting into something. So in our current circumstance, you see them putting hard work into a schedule or hard work into you know, reaching out and getting feedback and correcting, making corrections after teacher feedback. Um, 
instead of just praising the accomplishment then or the final comp, uh, the final product, you're actually praising the journey, which is encouraging a growth mindset. You can be a growth mindset role model. You take the words I can't and I am not good at out of your own language. I'm not good at cooking or I'm not good at keeping the house clean. Yet, you add yet to things and you certainly talk about um, your journey and your growth to get to the space where you want to be. Um, encourage the challenging route. Grow your brain by making mistakes and learning from them and not always going the easy way. Um, you can remember that growth mindset's not, not just an academic mindset. It's also a mindset for learning all sorts of other things. It doesn't have to just be applied to schoolwork. And you can discourage envy and comparison to peers who may appear really successful, um, but you really don't know what the journey has, has looked like for, for those um, counterparts. And so you want to be careful to say, you could learn from this person. You could learn from that person. They are so successful. And yes, you may be able to learn from those people, but you also have to be able to point out that they probably worked really hard to get where they are. This graphic can often be helpful. If you remember this graphic, um, people don't see all the hard work that may go into success. It's like an iceberg. You only see the tip. You don't see that underneath part that supports or the foundation that gets the iceberg to float there and look massive. Um, it, it really is the work where the growth lies, not the final product. So it's a good analogy to use with students. And you want to think about this mindset shift now during a pandemic. So all of the things that I just talked with you about is really the everyday language we use around growth mindset. You can apply that here in the situation that we're in. Um, you know, you may be at home talking about, I'm stuck at home. How can you switch your mindset there? I get to be safe at my home and spend time with my family. You know, I will get sick. I have control over that. I will self-isolate. I will wash my hands. I will decrease my chances of getting sick. Um, I'm going to run out of supplies. I've prepared for this. Grocery stores are open. We can still shop. Those are all good things. Everything is shutting down. I'm panicking. And the important places are open. We can get health care and we can shop for supplies. There is too much uncertainty right now. So those would be some that, you know, you may hear other people talking about, or your kids might even be saying those phrases to you, and that, that's how you could shift their mindset. There are also ways you can help motivate students academically. So if you are hearing them say things like, I can't do my schoolwork at home. I can't see or work with my friends. My teachers are not here to help me. I don't have a schedule. This work doesn't count. You can help your sixth grader shift their language by encouraging them to say things like, this will be different working from home, but I still know how to learn. I can use Google Hangout and FaceTime to see and work with my friends. I can email my teachers and attend their office hours. I can use templates from school to make a schedule that works for me. It is important that I complete activities to keep my brain growing. So these are all little suggestions from me, hopefully to help your sixth grader keep that great growth mindset and not slip into a fixed mindset, especially in light of the fact that we now know our building is closed and we will be continuing our school year remotely. Uh, I hope that you will be able to talk with them a little bit about growth mindset and ask them what they know about growth mindset. Give them some reminders if they've forgotten since they've been out of school and looking at those bulletin boards every single day. I know this will help us get through together and partner together to help students continue to succeed, even though we're not able to be physically at school. I hope you have a wonderful evening. And please do reach out with any questions if you have any before my next vlog.